I am AJ and this is going to be part three of stretches for cyclists. This is going to be more of a mobility based stretch, so opening out the joints rather than static stretches where we usually hold the stretch. You won't need your mat, this is mostly a standing stretch session. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it is useful. Cycle, or you could use this just before a cycle to open out some of the joints. We're going to start standing with feet slightly wider than hip width and just circling the shoulders around to begin with. Often find that little cyclists are really tight in their chest and their shoulders where the legs bowed up for a few hours at a time. Bring those elbows forward. Swap it across to the other side. You can always hold on somewhere if you need. Hand 
Next, we're taking it into our hamstring stretch. So one foot forward, toes are pulling up, the other leg slightly bent, but the leg out in front of me nice and straight. Just reaching forwards and up, breathing out and up, breathing out and up, out and up. One more time. Lovely job. Take it across to the other side. Forwards and up. Keep breathing. Your final stretches, one leg forwards, one leg back. We drop that heel down to the floor, push the hips forwards. Now step that back foot in a tiny little bit and drop that knee. So we're stretching out the lower calf muscle here. Take it across to the other side. Hips pushing forwards, quite a wide stance to start with. And bring that back foot in sit onto it and really dig that heel into the floor. Relax there, final stretch we are taking, head over to one side, flex that hand away, huge deep stretch within that shoulder and neck. And then across to the other side. And relax there. Guys, that was your six minute stretch for cyclist part three. Hope you enjoyed.